Hello. Hello, my name is Hannah Boyd and I am a senior from Gothenburg High School. Wow. And this is my poem entitled Mia. I never look in the mirror if I can help it, because the face staring back at me has no beauty, no features worth mentioning. My long brown hair that must be pulled back or the entire world feels off. The freckles that seem to multiply when I want to hide but disappear when I strive to be unique. And the freckles that would be, and the eyebrows that would be plucked to perfection if I hadn't given up full body mirrors or even worse because the list of things I would change about myself seems to multiply. The figureless body that isn't the preferred hourglass, but more like the straightness of a pencil, like the one I used to write down everything I would change about myself. The stomach rolls that no one has seen but that make me fear the freshman 15 more than I can bear. And the long thin toes that would give me the nickname monkey toes. And the reason I no longer wear flip flops they say any press is good press, but no one tells you that when you're neither gorgeous nor what society deems unattractive, you're a chameleon, forced to hide somewhere in the middle. I can't decide what's worse, the plainness on the outside or the pain on the inside. My brain is a mess of depression and anxiety. It's the same brain that tells me that dying alone isn't only a possibility, but my only future. That it's amazing I have friends at all, so why do I think anyone could ever chase away my loneliness? I spend hours in my room trying to figure out how long this poison has controlled me. Has it been simply months or years? The more I think about it, the more I realize it could have been at least a decade. They say pain is relative, but if that were true, why do they make me feel so bad for the things that I feel? Like, because to them, my life seems easy. On the outside, I can't be struggling on the inside. I don't know. Maybe one day things will get better, but you know, I can't promise that. What I do know is the reflection that you see in your mirror is not the story of what destroyed you, but of what made you strong enough to win. Depression is a one-way mirror that I would break, but I can't afford seven more years of bad luck.